Hey everyone, um, I thought today I will do something a little bit different. I will uh, go over Aquatic Log website for many of you have been asking about some of its features. So today we're going to concentrate on the home page as well as the high level uh, parameter um, uh, items. Um, many of you know that I'm the creator of Aquatic Log. So actually, if I go to the about page, this is where you can actually see me and you can even buy me a coffee if you uh, want to continue supporting the website and the iPhone and Android applications. So I've made everything free in uh, November on November 7 um, of 2019, which uh, marked its uh, seven year anniversary. So uh, what you are seeing here is all available for free to you. So I have three tanks. Uh, so the green forest where I don't measure too many parameters. And uh, then I got my treasure uh, frags and the treasure reef. So um, very quickly, I'll scroll down just to show you the rest of the home page. So uh, you can see who liked uh, your photos or videos. You can also explore um, different products and uh, aquariums. So basically, um, um, let's say I want to find out more about two little fishies, Julian's thing. Oh yeah, here I have it. And, uh, there are six ratings. Uh, I can see, uh, what people have said. Uh, it's been used in 42 different aquariums. I actually have been using it in the past in uh, my Winterfell reef. So you can actually see it here. And, uh, if I actually click on one of those aquariums, I can see um, all of the details for that particular aquarium. So um, you can see the number of gallons, uh, how many years I had it up and running, uh, some external links. So you can follow uh, me on Reef Central or GTA Aquaria. Um, there are some more details and information about it, more features, more photos, more videos, um, information about the filtration, lighting, I used to really love this uh, clam. Uh, unfortunately, didn't make it through uh, one of the moves. And, uh, you know, all the fish and corals that I had with the photos and whatnot. So um, you can also see what I was using for e uh, equipment and products. Um, so again, uh, let's say I like, uh, I'd like to find out more about the uh, high alkalinity checker. I can click on it and it will take me to the page where I will actually see uh, what I rated it as, which is five stars. You can see everybody else uh, on the system who's rated uh, it, and it's being used in a lot of aquariums out there. So anyways, um, let's go back to the home page and um, you can see, um, let's focus on my main uh, aquarium, Treasure Reef. So you can see my phosphate, uh, my salinity, um, how I was doing for alkalinity. Um, lately, I've been, you know, slacking off a little bit and I don't really measure much of the magnesium. So the home page is only going to show you the most recent uh, parameters. Uh, but if I actually go here and see uh, my measurements, so I can get to here from the home page of that aquarium or I can go up top and uh, click on the measurements here you can actually see a lot more information. So this is all the diary of what I've been uh, setting it as. Um, also, let's, for example, click on the alkalinity, one of the most important parameters. You can actually see all of the values. There are the ranges. I can actually override those ranges. So if I go back to the log and let's say I change um, this to be alkalinity, um, which is right here. If I click on setup, I can actually specify my custom ranges for this particular parameter. So in this case, I, I like to keep it between 7.5 and 9.0. So it's a little bit tighter than the system recommended ones, which is 6.5 to 11. And uh, another really nifty feature is I can, if I, for example, was using the previous generation HANA alkalinity uh, checker, which was uh, storing things in uh, parts per million, I could actually say, hey, I'm going to put it in PPM, but convert it for me uh, immediately to DKH, which is what I usually use to, to measure parameters. 
So that's where we are at. Uh, it also tells me, you know, what my target is, which is right in the middle between 7.5 and 9.0. So um, uh, it can actually tell me what my average was. So in this case, you can see I was always a little bit lower than what I was targeting. And you can see median and mean. And in addition to that, I build a, uh, an artificial intelligence uh, algorithm tool that actually tells me what um, the system believes it should be at based on the rest of my parameters here. In one of my future videos, I'll be talking a little bit more about that particular feature, as well as um, I'm going to concentrate on a lot of other features of the website and then the apps. As you can see, there's a lot more that you can be um, you know, exploring. Uh, once again, it's all for, uh, for free. Um, you know, I do it uh, because this is my passion and I really enjoy both reefing and programming. Um, but appreciate your support and uh, write in the comments below uh, what um, other features are you interested uh, in me going over or um, if you want me to make any changes. I'm currently actively working on the um, iPhone application as well as the Android application. There's lots of new things. I actually came up with a really awesome idea just a few days ago that I will be implementing in the very near future. So thank you for uh, watching uh, this screencast and I hope that um, you find this tool as useful as I do uh, and I would like to know about you and your comments. Thank you.